Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nicole. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video is going to be a review of the Love Every Investigator play kit. So we've been getting the Love Every play kit since my son was like four-ish months old. There's only a couple that I've chosen to not get and I didn't get the first two I think because we had the play mat and I felt like there were very similar things in the play mat and the play kits. Um, I'm due with my second son in any time now so I might purchase those for him just to be able to do a review on and give my full thoughts but last year I think <laughs> Love Every came out with toddler play kits which was great timing for me because it was about the age my son was and today we have the investigator play kit which comes with this little insert that shows everything that's in it and my son is only 25 months old but this is for 31, 32, and 33 months. And these are supposed to be designed for their development, where they're at, but I think that's really important to pay attention to your specific child and their interests and their needs and their wants and basically just kind of figure out what they are most going to benefit from. Uh, so I'm really excited about this play kit. I chose to skip the one before this, which I believe is called The Enthusiast, and I can share a little bit about why I skipped that at the end but I'm really excited about this particular play kit. So let's just jump into everything that's in it. So this play kit comes with six toys and a book, which I feel like it's pretty good value for the money considering I think it's about $130 over the exact price that I paid here on the screen. But overall, I feel like these toys are way worth the money and the investment that you're paying for this play kit. And I'll show you more of the toys up close as I'm talking about them and going through them and why I personally feel like this kit is a really good value. So the first toy in here is the Match and Tap Hammer Box, which is supposed to help them with matching, find motor skills, um, and cause an effect. Well, one of my biggest things about choosing this particular box was that it didn't have any like tiny pieces. I like that these pegs are quite large and he's not gonna like swallow them or anything. And it gives him the ability to match the colors and practice his fine motor skills with his hammering. And so far he really likes it and I like that he is big enough now to switch out the papers by himself. So it's kind of can be like we kind of model it for him and then he's able to do it on his own. So I like that. Alright, the next big toy in here that made me really want to get this kit was the Twist and Pivot Pattern Puzzle. And this has been a huge hit with him so far. He solves a lot of puzzles really quickly. They've never really been much of a challenge for him so I really wanted to present him with something that was like more complicated and a little more intense and this one it has three different shapes one is just a screw on and that one he understood really fast and then one of the other ones you have to kind of like twist them down and like match up the patterns to put all the rings on and it's the same with the other one but those are shaped like a square and some of them he gets really easily others are more of a challenge but he is really really enjoying it and I like that it's like kind of bigger it's not like a small flimsy toy it feels like really great quality there's also these jump in eco hoops and organic cotton bean bags he's super into bean bags right now we have a couple sets for him and there's so much you can do with them like color matching we have some textured ones so it's good for sensory things he loves throwing them so we set up different areas for him to like throw the bean bags into and I thought the hoops were kind of a nice addition to that. So the bean bags weren't really a major selling point for me, but the hoops were what made me want to get it more so. So I really like that. I feel like there's so much you can do with it. Next is the Things That Move memory game. And he's super into like cars and construction equipment and all that stuff. So this is really right up his alley. And I wouldn't say that this is like a major selling point. Like I feel like this is something I just kind of add in to this box because they're at that age where they can sort of start, you know, matching and memorizing things and all that stuff. I think it's a nice addition just because my kid is really into cars and things. Um, it's not really something we have explored yet, but I mean, they're just like matching cards. Like you could also just print pictures off online and do the same thing. So to me, that's kind of like a, an added little thing that I don't have to do, but it's not like a major selling point for the box. And then the next thing I'm super excited about because it's the liquid lab. And while he's not quite like measuring the up to like the one two or three level yet um he really does like pouring things back and forth and he has like a little sink from love every that he plays with all the time and 
he just will put water in it back and forth and like I give him baking soda and vinegar and just let him sit at a cookie sheet and just pour it in himself and he loves that and I feel like they're really nice quality plastic so I think they're gonna last a really long time and I'm really pleased with the quality of them he really likes playing with them so yeah it's a win-win-win all around for me with that and then the finally there's the countdown timer which he really likes turning on um I don't think he quite understands like time yet like I'll give him time notices for things where I'm like okay we're going up for a nap in five minutes you know in three minutes but he doesn't really know that yet so probably over the next couple months I think this will come more in handy finally there's the book the play date which is about learning to play together and we haven't read this book together yet but he really likes all of his love every books so I'm sure it's gonna be great and I like that it features like real kids and people uh, because I feel like it's better for him to see like real people <laughs> in books when possible. So overall, I really like this blanket. I think this is actually worth the price tag, unlike the enthusiast blanket, which I did not think was worth the price tag. So let's just jump into that explanation really quick. So I have my computer here because I don't actually own that blanket, but I did want to tell you a little more about it. So this blanket comes with um, this like weighted scale thing, which I'm sure is like nice quality, but... I, it's not something like I feel like where we would get a lot of use out of, like concept of like light and heavy through other things. And I don't really feel like he would be that interested in this for that long. Um, and then there's the sort and stack peg puzzle, but we got him a peg puzzle for Christmas or his birthday. And I, we don't need another one of the exact same things. There's also this picnic set, which... I, I'm i sure it's fine, but I don't really feel like that's something we need. Um, like, I feel like we could buy a cheaper version of this or, like, make one of things you already own, which <laughs> really makes no difference. Uh, so that really wasn't a big draw for me. There's also the squeaky clean squeegee set, and he has one of those in his, like, Melissa and Doug play kit thing, so I feel like that's a great alternative. There's also the Sticky Shapes glue station, which is literally, it looks like just construction paper and some glue, which you could buy for a couple of dollars at the store. So I don't, this one to me is just not worth the price tag. And I don't have it to actually review for you, but in my opinion of owning all the other kits and like why I bought them, I don't think this one is worth the money. And then the, lastly, there's the my favorite Nature Buddy board book. Which I do think he would like the board book, but he doesn't need a $130 board book. So we'll just, you know, skip that unless it becomes available to buy separately. But overall, I just wasn't a hugely impressed by that one. Um, and I have purchased the last play kit in the series uh, that will be here in like a few days or a week or something. So eventually I'll get a review of that. But um, yeah, I'll link the rest of my Love Every reviews below. I really do love... Love Every as a company, um, and I think that they offer a lot of really great quality toys, and I love that the kits come together, but I do wish that you could kind of customize maybe what you're buying a little more, uh, because kids end up with a lot of toys, like, I feel like they just do, and sometimes I just don't want everything in a kit necessarily, but I do think that this investigator kit was definitely worth the money and I definitely recommend it. So if you have any questions about it, please let me know. I'll link the rest of my Love Every reviews below and thank you so much for watching. Bye!